Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the second module of chemistry, super important questions and in this module we have the super important uh, questions from the previous papers and the model question paper, don't miss any of them and before starting please do like and subscribe, it has to make more like this and without wasting more time let's get started. The first question is what is a memory device and explain the classification of memory devices, okay. So what memory device stores what? Memory device stores the data, okay. So memory device is a piece of hardware that is used to store the data, example CD, DVD, USB and external hard disk. Two types of memory are there one is that which is vanishing after we shut down and one is which does not vanish volatile memory and non-volatile memory it is a temporary memory it requires power to maintain the data non-volatile it's a memory that retains all the data even when the electricity is turned off okay this is ram and this is rom okay random access memory and uh, random object memory okay so these two are the different types of memories and the classification includes the four types the uh, transistor type memory and the capacitor type register type and charge transfer type memories okay so you have to write the four classifications so transistor type electronic memory it consists of a semiconductor device of three terminals okay it consists of semiconductor device of three terminals and it produces a stronger output signals uh, for the weaker input signals okay it consists of billions of transistors which is having either an information 0 or 1 okay example is DRAM this is the transistor type electronic memory the second one is capacitor type electronic memory in that there are two terminals that can store energy in between them okay two terminals are there in between them they can store the energy okay so example is the ferroelectric RAM and charging and discharging of the capacitors can be programmed okay third one is the resistor type in resistor type it limits or regulates the flow of electricity in an electronic circuit okay it is made up of insulator in which the middle layer acts as an active switching medium okay charging and discharging happens in the high and low resistances example is programmable ram that is the resistors type uh, electronic memory and the last one is charge transfer memory ct okay in ct uh, assembly of two or more molecules is there okay and it is an electron acceptor and an electron donor those are the two types of molecules that self attract to the electrostatic forces okay and an example is organometallic complexes carbon allotype based uh, polymer complexes okay Going on to the second super important question, we have what are the photoactive and electroactive materials? Two types of materials are there, photoactive and electroactive. Briefly explain the working. First is photoactive materials. In, in this, what happens is it can absorb a light and convert to electrical signals. Light is converted to what? Electrical signals. Okay. Electric signals. That is called as the photoactive materials. When light falls on the photoactive material, it releases electrons which can generate electric current example is it is used in the LCDs okay so the diagrammatic representation is as follows okay so here the backlight is present so the light falls on the backlight okay and LCD panel is present here and the polarizing filter and the photoactive material so actually uh, the light gets converted to the electric signals in this uh, working okay in the photoactive electric photoactive materials okay Next is the uh, electroactive materials. In this, uh, the reverse happens. The electricity gets converted to an electric field. Okay, electricity gets converted to the uh, light. Uh, those materials which can change the physical properties such as shape, size, or refractive index when exposed to electric uh, field. Example is the electroluminescent displays, which is found in the watches, calculators, and other por por portable electronic devices. As you can see in the calculator, we will be able to see the digits, right? The digit is nothing but the uh, light, and the light is formed through the electricity. So that is an electromagnetic material. The working is also similar. It is uh, sandwiched. The material is sandwiched between two conductive layers which acts as electrodes. When a voltage is applied between those two conductive layers, what happens is it emits a light, okay, which is used to create image on the display. Going on to the third point question, we have explained P-type and N-type memory devices. Okay, so P-type memory device, pentacane is uh, organic composed a molecule composed of five linearly fused benzene rings. Five benzene rings form the pentacene. Okay, pentacene is used for P-type uh, construction. Okay. For that, uh, two electrodes are uh, the pentacene is sandwiched between two electrodes, cathode and the anode. Then P type is formed. Okay, P type memory device. And working is the holes are majority carriers because P is positive and positive uh, has the holes and it requires negative voltage to activate and it is less common. Okay, it is used in low application, uh, low power applications. Second is N type. Here, perfluoropensetine is an organic molecule consisting of five benzenes followed by all the fluorines okay so 
uh, the hydrogen atoms has been replaced by fluorine atoms and this is sandwiched between the electrodes cathode and the anode that is the n type and the working is as follows here the electrons are majority carriers because it is a negative n type and voltage is applied to the gate electrons move by allowing the electricity to generate and common in high speed memory devices like sram and dram this is more widely used the n type devices okay moving on to the third so uh, moving on to the uh, fifth i think it's a fifth or fourth super important question list out the applications and the properties of q led okay q led comes in between the led and o led okay it is better than both uh, led and o led the q led okay it has high brightness and contrast super uh, offer offers superior brightness and deep blacks compared to traditional leds it is energy efficient has life long uh, has long life span and fast response time it is used in the smooth motion uh, gaming and high speed content applications including the TVs, monitor, mobile devices, medical imaging and automotive displays. Okay, the displays which you have in the front seat of the car, right? That is the automotive displays. From, from there, the QLED is used. Going on to the next one question, we have explained the working of LCD, liquid crystal display. Liquid crystal is a state of matter whose properties are between the conventional liquids and solid crystals. Okay, conventional liquid is there and solid crystal is there. Okay, in between what comes is the um, liquid crystal display. Okay. So this is crystalline solid liquid. This is liquid crystalline phase and this is liquid here. What happens? It is slightly solid and slightly liquid. Okay, so it's working is as follows. It works by using liquid crystals to control the light passing through the screen. So here the liquid crystal is there and here the light is there. Okay, so what happens? The arrangement of the liquid crystals allow how much light is to be passed to the output. Okay, based on that control, the image will be formed here in the way it controls. Okay, when an electric uh, current is applied, liquid crystals align in different ways to allow or block the light creating images. Colors are produced using tiny red, green, and blue sub pixels to mix and form the final display. Because by using RGB, we can form any color. The liquid crystals arrange themselves in such a way that in that particular RGB ratio, it will be there so that that particular color will be formed in the output screen okay it do not emit the light themselves they rely on the backlight to make the image visible the backlight which is there that should be passed on through this so that the image will be visible okay that is about the lcd Moving on, we have the last super important, uh, not, uh, yeah. Moving on to the last super important question, we have list out the properties and applications of LCD displays. Okay. So, liquid crystal display properties are low power consumption, thin and lightweight, and high resolution. It depends on the backlight and has wide, uh, wide viewing angles. Okay. And the applications include it is mostly used in the televisions and monitors, mobile devices, laptops and desktops, and medical equipment. Okay. This is all from the module uh, 2 of chemistry. And uh, don't miss any of these questions. These are the most important ones and uh, please do like and subscribe it helps me make more like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one